M24 Tom, and um, we're going to do really the intro tutorial, um, taking off by winch at Truckee, and I'm going to try to get a lot of altitude. I've been thinking about just how to kind of get started with XC Soar, and I'm, I think the best way to think about XC Soar, um, or, or just why would you want to be in it? If you're a, um, you know, if you're a cross-country pilot, or... Uh, racing, you know, XC Source got a lot of cool stuff. But if you're, you know, just Joe Banana, um, why would you want to mess around with XC Source? So, um, I think probably the best intro to XC Source is learning how to thermal or use XC Source to find and center on thermals. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, and I'm going to use that as our intro um, to XC Soar. Okay, while we fly over there, it's just going to take us a couple minutes. Uh, I'm just going to give you an intro to uh, or, or talk about the XC Soar screen. Okay, on the top part is the map part. All right, um, and I don't have a task defined. Um, Therefore, when you take off, the task default task is going to be to go back to where you took off from. So that dark arrow, um, there's two arrows right next to the, in the middle of the screen. There's the aircraft, right, and you can see the trail coming off of the glider, and that's showing where we've been. Uh, it's also showing the wind. So the one that looks like sort of a um, the one just behind this one, that is showing the wind speed and the wind direction. Okay, north is up in this orientation way I've got this thing. Uh, and then the other one, the other arrow, this one over here, um, that's showing the path or the, the track back to our starting point. Okay. Um, we are in the auto screen, okay, and I've got, this thing is set up for um, final glide mode. Oops. So this right here shows you that whoops that we're on, on the auto glide mode. Okay, so I just got into a thermal. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the soundtrack. Alright, you can see on the trail I got green behind me, right? Green means lift. Brown means not lift. Let's try not to stall. Sorry, I'm a little out of practice. Okay, I'm still in final glide mode, and just in a second it's going to switch to circling mode. As soon as I finish, probably three quarters of a circle. Okay, so now I'm in circling mode. So look at the icon down here, right? That icon shows an aircraft in a circle, so it shows circling mode. And I've got the auto screen on, and I've got a different set of data boxes, info boxes, showing for circling. So, all right. Okay, my variometer is showing me four knots up. Okay, now I'm flying out of it. In the middle, right next to, right off the, right here, see that little icon? That's XC Soar's best guess of where the center of the thermal is. It's not a bad plan to just kind of try to center on that. Now, personally, it seems like I actually got a little bit better lift over here. And I didn't. All right, so it's not really there. Oops, let's try not to stall. All right, as you start circling, you're going to see this. Oops. up here, see this thing up here? All right. That is showing you where the lift, what altitude the lift is, is at, right? So, um, so far we're at a higher altitude, but we're not getting as much lift. So it's showing, um, you know, the width of where you, like the little dot there is showing where you are currently. And the width of it shows you how fast the lift is based on an altitude. That's kind of a cool little graph and it actually sticks around from thermal to thermal because in a given day I guess you know certain altitudes are 
you know have more uplift than um, than others, and so it's helpful to um, to kind of keep track of that. Okay, so we're still in circling mode. Just going to go through the info boxes that are being shown. Um, this is what I've got mine set up, and some other time I'll go through how to set them up and what the choices are and that kind of thing. This is just my setup. Okay, top row starting from the left, TC gain. That's how much I have gained in this thermal, how many feet in this thermal. Alright, the next box over, TC30S. What my average speed is for the last 30 seconds. So it's telling me that uh, while I've been circling here, I've sort of lost the plot. So let me kind of straighten out and get, see if I can go find the core of that thermal again. See if I can find it at all. I have a feeling we're probably gone over the top of it. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to keep circling just so we can keep going through these boxes. If I straighten out, it's going to go to cruise or final collide mode. Okay, so the next one over is altitude barometer, right? And then the next one over is HAGL, which is height above ground level. I have mine set up, my XC source set up, so that those two boxes, um, the second and third, excuse me, the third and fourth boxes on the first row always show the altitude and the height above ground level. I just like having that data at all times. Okay, on the bottom row, um, TC average, so that's average um, for this thermal. And then the next one is T average, which is average thermaling for the day. And then the last one is, uh, or excuse me, the next one, the third box over on the second row, waypoint ATD altitude. That is showing me currently how, if I, if I were to go for that waypoint, which is again right now defaulted to where I took off from, how many feet I would get, uh, how many feet I would, when I arrived at that waypoint, how high I would be, um, uh, and that would be plus the, you know, plus the uh, uh, pattern altitude. So if I were to go for the airport right now, which is right off my nose right now, I would get there with basically 1,093 feet is what it XC source is calculating. Okay, TC Trace is showing me over time um, how I'm doing. So I'm in sync. So um, let's see if I can find another thermal. I don't know if I'll be able to make that one. That one. Oh, um, I'm going to keep taking more cracks at this, try to hopefully get uh, better words to explain how to do this. Um, you guys can see me finish my pattern here if you like. Uh, and I'll just keep talking, but uh, I'm not sure how much more info I'm going to get out of this one. Alright. Uh, see radio. Uh, undercarriage. Oops. Uh, now I'm really going to have a tough time making that. Um, flaps. Speed. Trim or trim. Air brakes work. Look land. I know, I know. This is. Should wait in a second. I wouldn't want to be in the back seat with this one. Oh, I'd be like, oh, you're going to kill me. Okay. All right. Take another crack at it again. <laughs> 